if your trailer comes equipped with the option of solar panels, you're gonna have a display here in the galley area. So if we look at the display here, the first uh, setting here is battery percentage remaining. So since we got fully charged batteries, it's gonna say 100%. If we go down to the next button, go down here and then we're gonna see battery voltage. So right now we're reading 13.3 volts on the battery. At that point, even if we're out in the hot sun, we're not gonna charge the batteries until this gets below 12.4 volts. So we're, if we see 12.3 or 12.2, we're gonna actually, that's gonna actually turn on and start charging your batteries if you're out in the sunlight. The next, next feature down is the solar charging amps. This is how many amps are being put into the batteries from the solar panels. So right now, since we have 100%, we're over, over that 12.4 volts, we're not charging the battery, so it's at zero. Now that can go clear up to around 12 to 13 amps. Next one is the solar amp hours. This is just a running tally of how many amp hours were charged into the batteries. You know, so like today, you might add another two or three in the hot sun when the batteries get below 12.4 and that's just a running tally at that point. Now, if you did not get the solar uh, option, you do have in the 2017 models, ZAMP ports up on the roof and one down to A-frame. The one on the roof are for mounted uh, solar panels, and the one up front is for portable solar panels. Keep in mind on the solar system, when you are plugged into 110 and your converter's on, that that will override the solar panels because you're actually putting in over 13 volts into the system and these will not charge the battery at that time because it's gonna read the voltage from the converter. Also, when you're connected to your tow vehicle driving, traveling down the road, if your tow vehicle has a charge line that goes to the trailer, that'll also override the solar panel option. So you're gonna be putting 13 plus volts into the system as well, charging the batteries from the tow vehicle. The only time this is going to charge is when you're not having external charging and it drops below 12.4 volts.